My very first memory of falling in love with cell biology was during a high school excursion where we went to a lab and I got to look at cells under the microscope and that absolutely fascinated me. Growing up, adults in my culture told me that I cannot pursue a career in science and that only place for a woman is in the kitchen and that I was wasting my time. Why can't I use my brain to understand the complexity of human biology and discover new things? I converted my anger to a burning passion to prove them wrong. My research focuses on how immune responses, aka inflammation, drives obesity and how that in turn drives cardiovascular diseases. Obesity is a global problem. Two thirds of Queenslanders and Australians are either overweight or obese. Obesity on its own is not life threatening. However, it is a huge risk factor for a number of fatal diseases such as cardiovascular disease and cancer. In the coming years, my research program will focus on identifying new genetic factors and molecules that drive fat tissue inflammation and ultimately solve the growing obesity pandemic. I strongly believe in leading by example and have pursued my scientific research career as an inspiration and motivation for other young female scientists, especially for those with similar backgrounds to myself. Now I'm in a position to mentor and support young female researchers to actively pursue their dreams in STEM. One of the things that I'm doing is to set up a Twitter platform to promote positive mentoring. This is an exciting time for women in STEM, especially in medical research in Queensland. My challenge now is to place Queensland on the map for obesity and cardiovascular research.